Chris Brown is a dancer, singer, and songwriter from Virginia. He has been singing since 2005 and has multiple albums that have been certified double platinum, along with several songs featured on the Billboard Top 100. Here are some interesting facts you might not have known about Chris Brown. Number 17, Childhood. Chris Brown was born in Virginia on May 5, 1989. His parents, Joyce Hawkins and Clinton Brown, were big fans of Sam Cooke and Michael Jackson, which led to inspiration for Chris. He started dancing at just two years old and had a dream of becoming a rapper at a young age. Chris started singing when he was only 11 years old and was discovered by a talent agent when he was 13. He moved to New York City for his career and that's where things started to take off. Number 16, Discovered. Chris Brown first got his big break when he was discovered at a gas station that his father worked at by a record producer who came into the gas station and Chris's dad was able to get him an interview. And from there, he set off on the road to becoming an R&B icon. In 2005, at just 15 years old, Chris auditioned for L.A. Reid's Def Jam and was offered a contract right there on the spot. But he declined the offer and decided not to accept it, and instead he chose to go with Jive Records and sign with them shortly after. Number 15, Burger King. This one is probably not known by many people. Chris Brown actually owns 14 Burger King restaurants. The singer talked about how he is a proud owner of 14 Burger King restaurants. He told US Weekly in 2015 that he didn't really talk about the news, but didn't elaborate on the topic either. Apparently, he developed a taste for burgers while he was in jail. He told Billboard magazine in an interview after he was released from prison in 2013, you're more appreciative of everything else that's on the outside. A burger tastes a thousand times better when you're out. In order to be able to own one of these, you have to have a net worth of at least $1.5 million and $500,000 in liquid assets. It can also take from $1.2 million to $2.2 million to develop a location. On top of all of that, it costs a whopping $50,000 to purchase a 20-year franchise agreement. That's a ton of money for most of us, but to someone who has a net worth of $35 million, it probably seems like pocket change. Number 14, net worth. Chris Brown's current net worth is $35 million. Although he's rich, and this is a tremendous amount of money to most people, he is significantly less wealthy when compared to other peers such as Bruno Mars and Drake, who are both worth $90 million. Most of his money comes from movies and music. He started singing from a young age, usually in the church choir, and started dancing at a young age as well. Dancing to the moves of Michael Jackson and Usher, his parents began looking for a record deal for him, and when he was 16, his debut album was released, and it featured his smash hit, Run It, which is what put him on the map. It was so successful that it made him the first male singer in more than a decade to top the Billboard 100 with a debut single. It's not precisely known how much money he has made from album sales, but he has released eight albums, five mixtapes, and 108 singles. Number 13, Acting. He has expanded his career and branched out into acting. He started out with a small role in the movie Stomp the Yard in 2007. The end of 2007 brought new projects to Chris. He released his second album, Exclusive, in November. On this one, he was more hands-on and behind the scenes. He wrote the single Kiss Kiss with T-Pain and also worked with Sean Garrett on Wall to Wall. He also came up with the ideas for his music videos and co-directed them. Around the same time, he returned to the big screen with a more prominent role in the Christmas movie called This Christmas. He played Michael Whitfield, who was a young character who was trying to pursue a singing career despite his family not being supportive of it. He has been pretty successful with everything he has done so far and continues to stay relevant and release new work. Number 12, Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna met in 2005 and they began dating in 2008. But on February 8, 2009, Chris Brown made headlines everywhere and social media went crazy after Chris Brown was arrested for assaulting Rihanna during an argument. It was so aggressive that he left marks and bruises on her body and face. Chris said in a statement, words cannot begin to express how sorry and saddened I am over what transpired. He was charged with two felony counts because of the incident. A few months after the incident, Chris pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to five years probation and 180 days of community service. He was also ordered to stay away from Rihanna. The next month, he fully apologized and acknowledged his actions, saying, I have told Rihanna countless times, and I am telling you today, that I am truly, truly sorry that I wasn't able to handle the situation both differently and better. Number 11, Albums and Troubles. Despite the backlash and negative comments from the domestic abuse, Chris managed to continue to enjoy being a performer. He released his album Fame in 2011 and Fortune in 2012. Not long after that, Chris Brown found himself in trouble with the law again. He was arrested for assault in October 2013. Chris Brown and his bodyguard fought with a man outside a hotel in Washington, D.C. The singer was faced with the possibility of serious consequences for the fight, and he was also still on probation for his 2009 assault on Rihanna. He was released in October and joined a rehab center on his own. However, it didn't take long before he was kicked out for throwing a rock at his mom's car after a session. Yikes. Number 10, Jail. 
Chris Brown is the only singer ever to be in jail and have a number one record at the same time. While he was incarcerated for his incident with Rihanna, his hit single called Loyal went to number one on the Billboard list. Nobody else has ever been able to achieve that before. He said that the guards would even play the song for him while he was in jail. Before getting sentenced, Chris finished recording the album called X. The producers were nervous about releasing it because they thought the negative headlines from the abuse incident would take away the attention from the album. But he was released in June and they decided to release the album a few months later in September after things cooled down a bit. It was a smart move to hold off on releasing it because the album rose to number one with sales as high as 145,000 copies in the first week. Number 9. Tattoos Chris Brown has tattoos, and not just a few, he has a lot of them. He started getting tattoos when he was only 13. Today he has over 50 tattoos on his body, and the number keeps increasing. Some of his tattoos include a pair of wings with four stars on his chest, roses over the top of a diamond to represent love, and three stars on his neck that match Rihanna's. The stars were a symbol of their love for each other. After everything that happened between them, Rihanna had her tattoo altered so they no longer match, and Chris left his the way they are. On his back, he has a skeleton smile under a creepy smiley face and two feathers above the smiley face. He also has some tattoos on his hands. One of them is his mother's name. He has dozens of tattoos on his arms, a sleeve on each one. On the top of his foot, he has big crossbones, and these are just a few of his many tattoos. Number eight, family. When Chris Brown was just 15 years old, he bought his mother a house, and not just any house, a million dollar one. He was able to do this because he signed with Jive Records, so at 15 years old is when he released his first album and was just the beginning of stardom for him. Making that kind of money and buying his number one fan a million dollar home? Not too shabby for a 15 year old kid. Number 7. Clothing Line If you're a diehard Chris Brown fan, you probably already know this one. Chris has his very own clothing line called Black Pyramid. But did you know that the brand made $4 million in the first year? His line puts a spin on bombers, jerseys, t-shirts, polos, track pants, and more. So far, it has been very successful. Number 6. Royalty Chris Brown's daughter, Royalty, was born on May 27, 2014 in Texas. She is Chris's only child. Her mother is Nia Guzman. Being born to a famous rapper father, she is already a superstar in her own way, and already famous as well. Her nationality is Mexican, African American, and Puerto Rican. Chris, of course, is African American, and her mother is Mexican and Puerto Rican. Little Royalty is only four years old and already has a fortune of $160 million. This comes from a parent celebrity status, of course, and photos and videos sold for profit. She even has her own clothing line already. It's been said that her mother has filed an International Class 25 trademark under her daughter's name in May 2017. The fashion line includes clothing, shoes, and headgear. She also has a website where you can buy makeup and accessories that are suitable for kids under the age of five. Chris spent $30,000 on her fourth birthday party this year with a super lavish birthday bash and a glitzy guest list. The party included Disney princesses, horse and carriages, and a fancy food menu for the guests. Number five, old school. Old school musicians have been an enormous inspiration for Chris while growing up. His inspirations were great musicians from back in the day like Kim Burrell, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, Usher, and Donny Hathaway. I'm sure you can imagine how Chris Brown felt on the day one of his main idols, Michael Jackson, reached out and personally called him. When he was 18 years old, he received a phone call from Michael Jackson himself to let him know he loved the song Shorty Like Mine. Chris also loves old school 80s style clothing. He doesn't dress in the same style all the time. He switches it up and picks his outfits based on his mood for that day. However, his favorite way to dress is with an 80s edgy look. He says he dresses in a different style every day. Number four, awards. Although Chris has been nominated numerous times, 12 to be exact, he has only actually won one Grammy Award. The Grammy Award that he won was in 2012 for the best R&B album for fame. His same album just happened to have been his first number one album. The first three albums he made only made it to the number two, four, and seventh spots. Number three, songwriter. A lot of people might not know that Chris is a very talented songwriter. You probably already know that he writes his own songs. And he's not just one of those singers that just writes a song here and there once in a while. His graffiti album has a total of 13 songs, and Chris wrote 12 of them. In 2008, Rihanna's hit song Disturbia came out, and that song was actually written by Chris Brown and was initially intended to be one of his own songs on his own album. Number two, athlete. Chris Brown isn't just a singer, actor, and songwriter. He is also an athlete. He has always had a natural born talent when it comes to sports. Since he was in elementary school, he has been an exceptional basketball player. He was actually so good that when he was in sixth grade, he was on the eighth grade basketball team. But it's clear what career path he was chosen for. Number one, painting. 
We all know that Chris Brown has proven that he can do it all. He can act, he can sing, he's a great songwriter, he can dance, and we know he can play basketball. But did you know he has yet another hidden talent? He is an exceptional artist and loves to paint. He says he uses painting and his music as a creative outlet through hard times. He paints monsters that he says are mirrored images of the negative things and opinions people have for him. He also likes painting murals, and most of the profits that are made from the murals are donated to charity. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.